Assalamu alaikum everyone. Assalamu alaikum. begin with God's blessed name and we wish peace for all who this uh, recording reaches. My wife and I, uh, we made a public address uh, about two months ago asking friends and others uh, from around the world to uh, witness our situation here in Sweden and to uh, pray for our children's uh, well-being. And we want to thank all of you who have uh, been supporting us and uh, praying for us. And we are now making uh, another address with some uh, updates and uh, recaps. And we want to specially ask our brothers and sisters in Islam and our brothers and sisters from the Christian faith uh, to help us to uh, share our story. It is a story about uh, four uh, loving children and the highest and most sacred uh, of all the rights for a human being the right for a child to be with its uh, mother and the right for a mother to be with her children. And our children and our uh, family has uh, very wrongfully and unlawfully been uh, deprived of this uh, sacred right. And as we are about to demand, uh, to demand uh, our rights to recover our children in a free and public hearing here in Sweden, uh, we want to kindly reach out to people uh, to help us to witness that we are being provided our basic rights by the authorities uh, in our country. Uh, so that uh, our case can be settled uh, with truth and justice. And we want to proclaim uh, also clearly and publicly that uh, we do not want to spread any anger or bad land which, uh, towards Sweden or uh, towards any of our governments. Uh, we ask people to uh, uh, witness this statement. We will uh, speak the truth uh, respectfully and uh, factually and uh, when we forward uh, criticism, this is only against uh, injustice and abuse of power. And we ask people to help us to keep a clean uh, spirit around our case and we are uh, grateful for all who helps to forward uh, factual uh, comments and uh, reports. And before we continue, we want to share a clip uh, that we made together with our children uh, just a few days before they were taken away from us. And the clip uh, holds a beautiful prayer called uh, the Lord's Prayer, which was the main prayer that Jesus uh, taught the people. May peace be with him. And the Bible is an important uh, part of our faith. And we made this recording to share with our Christian friends around the world. And it is an opportunity by God's grace to uh, yeah, highlight the uh, love and the light that our children are uh, uh, carrying with them. And we uh, welcome you all to join with us uh, in this prayer. Heavenly Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in the heavens. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, we also want to remind about the beautiful teaching that uh, all of Sweden used to know uh, just a few years ago. It is called the Golden Rule and it teaches uh, all of mankind that we should treat others uh, the same way as we would like to be treated ourselves. But unfortunately this teaching is now getting lost to selfishness and greed and when you 
try to stand for religious values, uh, moral values and human rights, you get attacked by uh, people who are supposed to treat you with uh, respect for your freedom and dignity. And the 22nd of May this year, about uh, seven months ago, uh, our family was attacked in an unforgettable way and all our children was uh, taken away from us. Eight police came up to our uh, summer uh, house uh, together with a few uh, social workers. Uh, as we were outside uh, playing in the garden with our children. They were dressed in civil clothing and uh, when we peacefully asked them to show us their ID, they responded with uh, throwing me down to the ground uh, to handcuff me in uh, front of my family. And our dear son Jibril, uh, who is uh, eight years of age, he was climbing up on the roof of the house uh, to call out for mercy, telling them, you are not sane, you are not wise. And uh, our beloved son Yamil, he came to sit uh, in my lap as my uh, hands were tied up uh, to pray with me. But uh, they did not show uh, any mercy uh, to us. Instead they uh, forcefully carried our children into a van uh, to drive them uh, six hours away from us. To then be further split up in groups of uh, two and two after having lived all of their life together with each other and together with their family. And since that day, uh, May 22nd, our children have been kept uh, isolated away from us and from all who they know, uh, which is now uh, for more than seven months. And to carry out and support uh, this act is uh, truly heartless and it is a crime against uh, several of the strongest laws in the world, such as moral rights, religious rights and human rights. And it is also a testimony of the loss of uh, love, uh, mercy and uh, compassion uh, in uh, our present day society. There is a good foundation in Sweden uh, which uh, is based on uh, freedom, uh, dignity and respect. And it clearly states that all of Sweden is bound to follow human rights and that no laws or regulations are allowed to be used uh, in conflict uh, with human rights. This is very clear and it is important for us and for our story, story to highlight uh, and we will cut in uh, reference to this. And for those who do not know us, uh, my name is uh, William Ismail and this is my dear wife uh, Anne. I'm uh, 40 years of age and uh, my wife is a uh, few years younger than me. And uh, she is a loving mother who has been uh, truly taking care of her children uh, day and night for all of their lives. And all our children, they really love their mother and she is also liked by everyone who knows her. And I will leave over to her to share a part of uh, our story. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Anne, but my mother has always called me Amira. Uh, I was born in Egypt, but I moved to Canada with my family when I was a young girl, and that's where I grew up. I met my husband uh, on a trip to America and then I moved to Sweden and we have now been married for 11 years. Together we have four lovely children that were seen in the prayer, Jibreel, Jamil, Imran and Israel, whom I love with all my heart. When I first moved to Sweden I liked it here. I found the people to be very kind and friendly. Uh, but unfortunately the past two years uh, things have changed as our family have been 
attacked from many different directions. Uh, growing up in Canada, I lived a more secular life and uh, until I decided to turn closer to faith. Uh, together, my husband and I have tried to inform ourselves about the human rights and freedoms, and I've learned that it is a duty for all of Sweden to use their power respectfully as representatives of the people, and that Sweden is committed to follow human rights. I've never made any offense, nor I have I asked for any money from the government. And for reasons still not clear to me, I was denied a renewed residence permit by the Immigration's office. Uh, although I've been married here for many years with four Swedish-born children. Uh, as a mother, I'm entitled to special care from society, uh, but instead I've been experiencing the opposite, to the point that all my children have been taken away from me forcefully. My dear daughter Isra, who was two years old and still breastfeeding, was literally dragged out of my arms by two police officers and a social worker. And the reason they used for doing something so cruel was that she was not as yet registered uh, after being born in our home. And the registration was something that we were trying to fulfill. And they used the matter of registration above all of her basic human rights, uh, such as the rights to be with her parents, with her family and friends, rights to her motherly milk, um, and to be forced to a home, a new home, with parents who are clearly not hers. Uh, it's been my goal in my life to give birth at home, and during my fourth pregnancy I felt ready to make it on my own. And after the birth of my daughter, which was the most magical night of my life, we went ahead to register her. Uh, a few weeks later, we were contacted by the tax office, um, and they had told us that the registration was incomplete and that they did not accept it. So instead of showing care and respect, they put us into a very difficult process uh, through different courts and we had then provided them with a DNA test that proved us both to be the parents and they still denied registration uh, to further put it now into another court which is still ongoing. Uh, she was first separated from her two older brothers as my husband had mentioned and now they had separated her again from the brother she had been living with for uh, since she's been taken from us. Uh, she's now placed in a home without a single family member, far away from all of us, where our hearts are crying to be united with her. They also took all our other children with empty accusations. My five-year-old son, Imran, uh, who was a very lovely boy, uh, was taken for the reason of, that we didn't attend a doctor's appointment, which had no need for. Uh, after they took him, he was uh, rushed into an emergency medical screening uh, that actually showed that he was fully healthy but they still continued to hold him and our dear sons Jibril and Jamin uh, were taken away from us with accusations of neglecting their health and their education uh, and this was made by two social workers who have never met us when the truth is our children have been healthy all of their lives and are very well developed in their personalities praise to God we love our children with all of our hearts and we have been seeking to give them uh, the best means of health and education for all of their lives. I've been cooking healthy food for them uh, almost every day. I gave them all a full 
nursing period and as much motherly love as I could possibly produce. And they all love to read and write and count and help with practical work. We've been asking to meet our children for three hours in a peaceful environment, uh, which we've been denied on several occasions. Uh, the only offer we get is to meet them for one hour under strict surveillance uh, in a closed environment to then separate from them again. And we have not accepted this as we think it is very harmful for the children and for us to meet and separate in such a manner. Uh, aside from taking all of our children, which is the worst possible punishment I can imagine, they have also charged me with $15,000 uh, for not leaving over uh, my children to a, a education that I'm not secure with. Uh, and in times that we need to prepare our family to eventually leave Sweden, as the migration office have denied my permission to stay here. Uh, I've been working to take care of my children, uh, so to make this kind of payment is not something I can just do, and it adds a lot more difficulties to the difficulties that have already been placed on me. Uh, I'm willing to leave Sweden freely, so there's no need to throw me out, uh, but my children need to be returned first, and we need a fair time to prepare our family uh, to leave peacefully. And I hope, sh I hope that sharing our story uh, will help our situation and our family. And I'm grateful for all the support and prayers that is given to us. Uh, so God bless you all and thank you for listening. As for me, I'm a former uh, poker professional who gave up the gambling to seek for truth in life and for a more... Uh, humble and healthy lifestyle and uh, it has taken me on a life-changing journey for the past 11 years. Uh, I'm born in Sweden uh, in a loving family with kind parents and two uh, younger siblings. And growing up I uh, consider myself a Christian uh, although I didn't uh, live up to its uh, morals and teachings. Life then took me on a ride uh, around the world for several, for several years and uh, when I finally was able to uh, slow down and to purify myself, I found uh, time and peace to read and to study and to visit uh, scriptures uh, such as the Bible. And when I met my wife, uh, who is uh, born in a Muslim family, I was introduced to what the teachings of Islam actually teach and uh, that was something quite different from what the Western media had uh, portrayed it uh, to be. And in reality, most Westerners, uh, they know very little about the teachings of Islam, the true teachings. And it is clear to me uh, that there is an ongoing and conscious agenda by uh, powers behind the media to paint uh, religion, and especially so Islam and Christianity, in a negative light. To uh, keep uh, people away from the true teachings of God and uh, from the true teachings of the soul. And to cause anger and division uh, rather than uh, unity and peace. And today uh, this is being done to Russia, who is uh, in, es in essence uh, represents uh, Orthodox Christianity. And uh, at the same time as many are being deceived, uh, there is also clear to us that there is those who are awakening up to uh, see beyond uh, this uh, deception. And uh, perhaps our voice is uh, a wind uh, in the wilderness, but uh, we want to use the opportunity to remind people to be mindful of God to be truthful and to be careful uh, before uh, passing judgment.
And we want to say that it is uh, clear to us that the true teachings of religion is uh, very peaceful and uh, free of force. Force comes from ignorance and evil and uh, true faith teaches mankind to be patient, uh, peaceful, forgiving, kind, uh, compassionate, honest and generous. And it teaches that we should help each other, that we should forgive each other, be kind uh, towards each other and to share uh, with each other. And the best way to share it is to give uh, generously and freely without uh, expecting anything in return. Which is the opposite of uh, the banking world uh, which uh, takes uh, and gives uh, nothing in return. And true religion it teaches that we should uh, love our neighbors and our uh, fellow human beings. This is what Jesus taught, uh, this is what Muhammad uh, taught, and this is what all the prophets taught uh, due to our understanding and faith. May peace be with uh, all of them. And uh, with faith in God and in uh, His uh, beautiful nature and the healing qualities of nature, we have been uh, seeking for health care and education for our family within the nature and for natural solutions and uh, rather than the secular alternatives that is promoted by the state. And it has given us uh, very happy results uh, for all of our children's life and we have been able to keep our family close and uh, healthy and loving We're in times where uh, so many families uh, seem to be split up. Uh, but this choice has led us to face uh, serious persecution from uh, different parts of society and especially so from the social services uh, in our city. And uh, we want to state that it's not uh, in our interest to speak badly against the social services or against any of our governments. Uh, that is not our style. Uh, we believe that social services is an important institution of society as long as it, uh, its representatives use their power correctly with uh, respect for all people as stated in the constitution and in human rights. Unfortunately this is not being followed as it should and it has not at all been the case uh, in our family. Instead uh, power has been used very wrongfully and in clear violation of the constitution and several of uh, our basic human rights. So it's not an institutional problem that we are facing. Uh, the problem is the servants who lack uh, knowledge and respect for the good foundation in society that are being allowed to use laws and regulation in clear violation of uh, human rights and freedoms. And there is a whole mountain of uh, injustice uh, done in our case and uh, we believe in many other cases. But there is not enough time to get into all the details. Uh, but to give out the picture we were contacted about two young uh, caseworkers who wanted to make an investigation uh, of our family and our children. And we answered them uh, respectfully that we were willing to cooperate as long as the investigation was made uh, respectfully and in accordance with uh, human freedom and rights and our constitution. With four children and with uh, faith in God in a secular society, it's very important to get the representatives who respect human rights which is the right for all people in Sweden to demand. But instead of granting us uh, this uh, right uh, to a fair investigation, the case managers uh, accused us for not uh, cooperating. And they then went on to accuse us for one thing after the other uh, without providing a single evidence with any of their charges uh, consciously knowing that uh, what they were saying uh, is not true. 
And as my wife uh, mentioned, they accused us from for uh, neglecting our children's health and education. And with no respect, they also accused our clean and loving children for being dirty. And they accused us for having a radical faith and for many other things. Just uh, consciously making up a terrible picture about us uh, uh, in, their in, in their files. And these files was then sent into a secret uh, type of secret family court uh, with an urgent claim to all of our children. And in this court, uh, one woman who never met us before was uh, allowed to rule that uh, all our children should be taken away from us without a single evidence of anything unlawful with that we have done, which is a clear violation of so many of the most basic human rights. We have chosen not to overrule this verdict as the whole foundation of this court case rests on falsehood. We do not allow uh, any more courts who are not being fair and we do not accept any courts who allows laws to be used uh, in violation of human rights. Instead we are now about to demand our right to have our case presented into a fair and public court hearing here in Sweden by an independent and impartial tribunal where we will demand our God-given right to be with our children and our right to liberty and uh, family life which is a clear right for us to demand and especially since our case is about four loving children our family life and some of the more sacred uh, rights of a human being and every human being is entitled to such hearing and it's the duty for our country and for the the national courts to ensure us that we are being provided this and we kindly ask people to help us to witness that uh, they are giving us our right and providing us this uh, free and a fair court. Uh, we want to share publicly how we are intending to present our case into the court so that people may be informed and equipped uh, to support us and so that you may witness how we are acting and how the authorities are acting. We have nothing that we want to hide and the authorities they should not have uh, anything that they want to hide either. And we are seeking to solve our case uh, peacefully with uh, dignity and respect uh, in a spirit of brotherhood, which is what the clear uh, foundation of our country prescribes. And we pray that with the uh, light and attention on our uh, case and in our story, truth and justice uh, will prevail uh, by the will of God. And the clear foundation of our case, uh, it will be that it is our children and that they belong to us and no one else. That is clear by religion, uh, by nature and by law. And uh, with this foundation, our case can then be proceeded to be settled with clear and truthful facts and evidence within the frame of our constitution and human rights. This is clear and fair, and this is our base uh, for our case. And uh, the juridical world uh, is made difficult to ordinary people. And to fit our case into juridical terms, we are looking to file it into the court as a case for constitutional and human rights and freedoms, with an urgent demand for the return of our children from unlawful hold and with an urgent restoration of our right to liberty and family life. 
and we will demand to be entitled and uh, our right to actualize uh, all our human rights and freedoms to, uh, to the protection of our case and our family. And that no laws and regulations are allowed to be used in uh, violation of uh, human rights, which is also clear and fair. And uh, our children, they are a product of a labor that uh, my wife and I uh, did together in our private life. A labor that resulted in the produce of our children who all uh, developed inside of uh, their mother's womb for, uh, through different stages uh, for nine months. Which clearly proves that they are our children and that they belong to us both by God's law, by nature, by international law and by human rights. And if someone else consider themselves to have any right uh, to claim our children, they need to come forward to present their case uh, before this uh, clear, free and public court and bring with them uh, facts and evidence. In a free and a fair hearing, slanders and accusations are not allowed and all judgments must be supported with obvious uh, reasons and evidence. And we are well aware that there are those who want to make things more difficult for us and who want to try to stop us from uh, getting a free and a fair hearing. But uh, this is the clear uh, law and this is our clear rights to demand. So we pray that God protects our rights, uh, our case and our children, and then that he grants us uh, freedom and justice. And uh, we ask that you please uh, join us in this uh, prayer. We also want to highlight that uh, when the social services uh, claimed our children, uh, they uh, got access uh, to a court uh, within just a few days and they did not bring a single evidence with their case, not a single evidence. We are bringing our case with clear facts and clear evidence. And uh, as everyone is equal before the law, we must also be given uh, the right to be provided a court uh, within a short time span. And we ask people to uh, witness that we are also being provided this, and to witness how the authorities act. And we believe our case to be very important, uh, not just for our family, but for uh, all people. Since it's a case about children and about the most sacred of all the human rights. And uh, as we have stated, we are very grateful for people who uh, helps us to share our story. And we hope to make another recording uh, soon again uh, with some updates about how our case uh, develops. And we will add a reference to our YouTube page uh, at the end of this video. And we will also share our email address and a link where this video can be downloaded and shared. Uh, our main goal it is to recover our children peacefully with hope uh, for blessings uh, for many people. And we do not seek for anyone to be punished. We have chosen to try to be patient and to overlook and forgive and we leave the judgment of the people in the hands of God as we seek mainly for truth and justice and for our children to be returned to us and when they come back to us uh, by the will of God we want to claim our right to uh, recover ourselves as a family and fair time to pre uh, prepare ourselves to leave uh, from Sweden peacefully and the best way to meet uh, evil and uh, ignorance, it is with patience and peace. As uh, such a remedy might actually cure ignorant and at the s ignorance and at the same time expose uh, deception and falsehood. And uh, we will end now by sharing another clip with our uh, loving children uh, where we sing a song together which our Christian friends uh, made beloved to us and our children. And uh, we ask you and welcome you to sing with us and uh, to please pray for us.
Thank you for listening and may God bless all of you and your family members. Jag brukar vilja sjunga en, en fin sång. You, you like to sing there to be a dad, you know? No, you don't have to. You can sing and jam Standing, standing by a purpose to heed in God's command. All the children be faithful if you want to have a dad and a dad. There is forces who want us to fall. So stand firm and be with the truth. And God bless all of you. God bless you, everyone. God bless you. I'm not